Hello guys, hope all of you are doing great. This is Dr. RCB and you are viewing my channel Computer Science with Dr. RCB. If you are someone who have decided that you people have to learn Python programming language, only thing is that you people are not getting the exact starting point, then this video series is certainly for you. You might have tried learning Python programming language from some of the existing video tutorials or maybe from a book or maybe from someone but for varieties of different reasons not necessarily that those materials were bad or something but for varieties of different reasons say it didn't work and still you people are surfing the net for say you know how to learn python python language for beginners uh, python from zero to hero and all these things then congratulations guys this course is certainly for you see to learn anything new there are two major steps you have to take the first step is you people have to take a strong decision that no matter what no matter what it takes you will go through this process and you will learn the thing and since you people are here then i'm very much certain that you people have already completed that step then what is the next step the next step and you know this is the step uh, for many people this step actually you know holds them back from learning anything new and what is that step and that step is taking the first few steps and that is the reason that i'm creating this series of videos in this series of videos i'll help you guys taking those first few steps in learning python programming language I'll be telling you in this series of videos, I'll be telling you those fundamentals of Python programming language. Uh, once you know those fundamentals, then then done. I mean, you can say that if people know Python programming language and you can use Python programming language confidently for all your programming tasks. There is no prerequisite for this course. It means um, it is not a necessity that you need to be from computer science background. It is not a necessity that you need to have some prior programming experiences. No, no such things. This course is for absolute beginners. Now, zero, ex zero computer science knowledge, zero programming knowledge, and still you can go through this course and you, know, you can be a Python programmer. Now, since you people have already taken the decision that you people will go through the process and now you've got someone who can help you actually take those first few steps, then you have almost everything to start your journey. Then also there are some, there are a few more things like there might be a question in your mind like, okay, suppose I have taken the decisions and you are with us, uh, we are ready, but what else? Do I need a computer or if I need a computer, then what software is that we have to install in that computer to start a journey? Okay, then that's what I'm going to tell you now. The first thing is, the first question is, do I need a computer? I mean, the answer is surprisingly no. You do not even need a computer or a laptop to learn Python programming language. It doesn't mean that if you have a computer or a laptop, you will throw it out. Okay, if those things are there, those devices are with you, then it's good. But still, suppose someone is uh, looking at this video right now for some reason, they do not have access to a computer or a laptop. Then what can they still learn? I mean, you know, learn in the sense like do practice and learn. Yes, they can do that. Only thing that you need to have to go through this uh, course is a, a device, any sort of device, maybe a computer, maybe a laptop, or maybe a smartphone, uh, where you can use, a, connected with the internet, certainly, where you can use a browser. That much only you need. Along with that, another thing that you need is you need to have a Gmail account. That's all. You don't need to install anything in your phone or device. Nothing you have to do. Only thing that you need to have is what? You need to have a device from where you can use a browser and you need to have one internet connection and you need to have a Gmail account. If you have all these three things, then you are ready to actually start learning Python programming language with practice. Okay, then now let me tell you how without installing anything from a browser with only that Gmail account, how you can actually uh, you know write and execute a python program and at the end of the video we all will be learning how to write our first python program that is the hello world program in python okay let's see okay open google and then click on this gmail so that you can enter your gmail id and password to get into your gmail account 
uh, say my I enter my password. Once you are in your Gmail account, then what you have to do is you have to click on this Google Apps button there. And there, from there, you have to select this drive. That is, you have to get into your Google Drive. And once you are inside your Google Drive, then what you do is you have to click on this new button. Now, when you click on this new button, this menu will appear. And from there, you have to go to this more. Now, when you keep your mouse cursor in this more option, then uh, you will see this submenu. And from here, you have to click on this connect more apps. You click there and it should show you this window and here what you do is in this search app option you search for co-laboratory co-laboratory okay you, you write this word automatically once you write co-lab it, it will show you this option you just click there and this app will appear and you just click on that app and let me bring myself somewhere else yeah and then you click on this install button although i said that you don't have to install anything but this installation is actually nothing uh, uh, uh in front of the the installation of a full fledged uh python id along with this interpreter and everything in your computer okay so for that reason i said you don't have to install anything and click on continue and believe me it is nothing actually it will take hardly one or two minutes that's all you just select this thing and done Go laboratory is open done uh installed it is installed okay you just click on done okay once your google colab is installed in your browser or in your gmail account then what you can do is now you can click on new and then you can click on uh, more this time you will find in this sub menu you will find another option called as google co laboratory okay you just have to select that google co laboratory option and done actually like whatever the page opens that will be the page where you'll be able to type your program and execute your python programs now see here ready this is the page where actually you can type your programs and you can execute it so as i said at the end of this video we'll be writing our first python program that is the hello world program now it is time to actually write that program okay then let's write it so the program is print and then open and close the parentheses and within this double quotation you will be writing hello world i mean this is the python program that outputs hello world uh, on the screen or whose output is hello world okay so some, now people have learned like how to write your first program. The next question is then how to execute the program. Executing is damn uh, Executing is very straightforward in this case. You just have to click on this play button. Now see people, if you are executing this program for the first time, then you might see this connecting thing there. Okay. I mean, what happens is that whenever you're writing program in Google Colab, you are not actually writing or executing the program in your local computer what you are basically doing is you are writing the program uh, in the in your computer but the thing is when you want to execute it you have to send that program to google's computer and the program will be executed there some resources will be allocated to your program don't worry about all these details okay i'll be telling you in the coming session but then also i'm just trying to give you some hints uh, okay so that program will be sent to google's computer and it will be executed there and it will send the output back and that's why initially first time when, that is whenever you are executing the first program usually it shows you here connecting and it takes some time okay but the next program okay say for example let me write here another thing next again the same and uh, more or less the same program print okay congratulations okay now if i want to execute this program then it will not take me uh, not that much of time i click there and immediately i get the output here okay guys okay guys then you people have actually seen how you can you people have actually learned how you can write your first python program and that too without installing anything in your computer uh, or you know without even having a computer you can you can you can do this thing from your mobile phone also that is your smartphone also only thing that as i said you need to have is your you need to have a browser you need to have the internet connection and you need to have this gmail account okay guys then that much only in this part of the video if you like this video then please press the like button and also please subscribe the channel so that as soon as i upload my next videos related to this python programming you people get notified
and also i mean that is not only for you i don't want to show i don't want to tell you that no when you subscribe it is only good for you okay as well as i need subscribers so it is certainly it's a good thing uh, that uh, it will be a good thing for me also okay but you do that thing only when like if you really think that you know this channel is for you and this playlist for is for you or this video series is for you okay guys then see you with some new content in the next video till then have a nice day